Hi, welcome back to Short Reviews. My name is Jesse, and today I'm reviewing Horses by Patti Smith. This is number 44 on Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time. And I, uh, I, when I first started listening to this, I was kind of put off. It's got a very raw, almost garage rock uh, sort of sound. Um, her vocals are uh, a little rough, the guitars are really loud, the drums are loud. Um, I think, though, if you approach this album on its own terms, it becomes something that's uh, really quite good. Uh, it's, again, all about raw rock. There's not a lot of fluff. There's, uh, it's basically a, a three-piece band and Patti Smith and her singing slash poetry. I think the biggest thing that you, to get over if you wanted to enjoy this album is that it's less about singing uh, impressive melodies and more about the content of her words, which again are really poetry more than uh, lyrics. I would call them more of poetry than, than straight like song lyrics. But for just like in your face, uh, garage rock, uh, sort of proto Slater Kenny before they were uh, before they were doing their thing. I think this is even before or right maybe right at the forefront of early punk. I think it's pretty good um, if, uh, if, if that's sort of your thing. I'm gonna give Horses by Patti Smith three out of four. <laughs> 